Hello, 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 welcome back to the show, and we've got week one of the final series for the Dice Footy Championships. This is the picture. We've got the Bulldogs taking on North, Gold Coast taking on Collingwood, um, Brisbane and Melbourne taking on one another, and Port Adelaide and West Coast. First v4 and second v3 are playing qualifying finals. Loser of that game is getting a double chance. However, the other two games you lose, you're out. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, obviously, there is equal opportunity for anyone to win. It's dice footy. So if you're eighth, you could win just as much as first place. So um, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy this one. Drop a like and subscribe if you do. And um, yeah, let's hop right in. Here we go. We've got game one. It's the Bulldogs taking on North. And the Bulldogs have been an excellent team this year. And um, obviously, they've started excellently here. Um, North Melbourne, not a bad start for them. They just snuck into the four um, right at the final hurdle. And um, it looks like they probably didn't earn their spot. Well, they did, but did they deserve it? Probably not. They have not held the Bulldogs very well in this first half. And um, they've got, an, well, a lot of ground to make up going into the third quarter. And the Bulldogs, well, they are starting this final series on an absolute high. 18 goals in three quarters, and this game is well and truly over um, before it, well, even really started, to be honest. Um, they had control pretty much the entirety of the game. I honestly think this is the highest score someone has kicked all season long, um, and the Bulldogs have saved it for the right time of year. And um, the North Melbourne Kangaroos um, do all right in the last quarter, but obviously um, the game was well and truly over before then. So Bulldogs advance and North will have to play a semi. Let's hope we can get a little bit more excitement out of the second game of the round. It's Gold Coast Collingwood, both sides. Well, if you lose, you're out. And um, Gold Coast have started really well, obviously well and truly knowing the importance of this game. The Pies, well, they've started pretty well as well. Um, only a five-point game at quarter time. The Suns, well, as we said um, a bit earlier on, they actually um, lost out on the top four spot that they had possessed for quite a few rounds in the home and away season. Um, right now, they currently trail by three points. This game is going to go down to the wire. Obviously, a different um, path to the previous game. And at the moment, well... That third quarter by the Suns could potentially um, cost them down the line, but the Pies have kicked the absolute bare minimum. So we're going into the final quarter with a lot to play for. Five points. Both teams have not led by more than a goal at each interval. Here we go. The Suns kick five goals, and they kick six behinds. It's going to be hard to track them down. Um, I'm pretty sure that Collingwood need to kick the maximum here. Five goals, 11. They need to kick the maximum to win this game. Here we go. Six goals needed. Oh, wow. They got close. But unfortunately, they're going to have to settle for a week one finals exit. The Suns win by seven points in an excellent game. Let's see if the next game can live up to the hype. It's Port Adelaide taking on West Coast in the qualifying final. And Port Adelaide, well, very good season by them. West Coast actually emerged as a really good team um, in the latter portion of the season. And this one has also started off quite close. So hopefully it follows the same trend as the previous fixture, which was obviously, um, you know, there was a bit more to play for. This quarter by the power was pretty good. Five goals, two from them, and the Eagles need to respond, and they do. I mean, honestly, it is pretty back and forth this game so far, much like the last. Five-point lead at the half, and third quarter is met with a pretty good score for Port Adelaide. So let's see if, um, like previous quarters, the Eagles can match. Here we go. Not quite this time. So they will have to um, see if they can, you know somehow manufacture a comeback in this last quarter. They are down by about 13 points. Here we go. Port Adelaide kick four goals and kick four behinds. I think the game is out of the question now um, just. So 16 goals, 12 for Port and that will mean that the Eagles can kick a winning score here. Once again, like the team prior in Collingwood, 
They're going to have to kick six goals, six to win the game. There is not much room for error. Here we go. And unfortunately, it is the same result as Collingwood. And um, for them, well, they'll get a second chance next week. But they're going to have to settle for a loss here. And Port Adelaide are in the prelims. Here we go. Last game of the round. It is Brisbane, Melbourne. Week one of the finals will be wrapping up after this game. And Brisbane start with four goals, three. Let's see if we can get another close game on our hands. And um, at the moment, it is looking like Brisbane are going to be making it to week two. And Melbourne will be on holiday. Um, at the moment, Brisbane 67 and a half. You would love to see that if you're a supporter of theirs. And, well, Melbourne, not an awful quarter by their standards, but they do have a bit of ground to make up. 20-point difference at the half. Um, and the Lions, well, they are making sure that there is absolutely no um, doubt about a win for them in this game. And um, the Ds, well, it looks like their season may be well and truly lost. Um, it is turning out to be a bit of a blowout at this point. So Brisbane look like they're going to get a win here. It is 18 go goals, 13 they'll register, and uh, Melbourne will finish with four goals too, so not an awful game by them, but obviously, if you don't win, especially in a game like this, with high importance, you're gone, and um, that's exactly what's happened. So Brisbane advanced to week two, Melbourne, see you later. And then there were six. Um, two teams are now gone. Collingwood and Melbourne, both teams obviously had the away game, so no surprises there. Um, Collingwood obviously snuck in, so whether they deserve to get past week one um, is, you know, up to you um, to decide. But the Bulldogs um, treated North to, you know, a little bit of their own medicine, um, if you will. North kicked 20 plus goals a number of times this year. Turns out they couldn't defend it. Um, 145 is nuts. Um, Brisbane did well, um, Gold Coast, you know, obviously have an opportunity to redeem themselves next week, obviously lost out on fourth place to North Melbourne, that's who they're playing next week, so we'll see how that revenge story goes, um, and West Coast, well, they'll get a second chance next week against Brisbane, so that'll be interesting. Port Adelaide and the Bulldogs, they will be advancing to week three of the finals in the prelims, um, and we'll see who they play um, after the next lot so if you enjoyed this one drop a like and subscribe we'll be doing both the semi-finals and the prelim finals so by the end of the next round or the next episode we will know who the two finalists of the dice footy championships are going to be tune in at 4 p.m on thursday to find out um have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one peace out